Hi, I'm Chris Heiser from Internet2 in University of Pennsylvania, and I'm here to talk about grouper training, the admin track, and connectors. I'm going to introduce connectors, talk about the architecture, the types of connectors that are maintained by the grouper team, uh, which are Quali Rice, ePortal, Atlassian, and then a little bit more about the, how the Atlassian architecture is different. So these connectors connect um, external software to use Grouper as the group store for that software um, without going through LDAP or something else. So it's going to use uh, Grouper Web Services with the Grouper client. The connector architecture generally has the software product um, and then if it's Java-based, it can use the Grouper client to connect to web services. So in webinf lib, you'll have the Grouper client.jar, and in webinf classes, since this is a web application, um, we have the grouper.client.properties, and then the glue that implements the software's group API um, by using calls to the Grouper client, in this case, the Grouper Kim connector jar, would also be in the web lib. And basically that would implement whatever interface it is and the grouper client would go to the grouper web services and read or update the registry. So connectors can be built from systems that can externalize groups and permissions and it's easier if it's a Java application because then you can use the grouper client otherwise you need to um, right to the Grouper Web Services API in whatever language it is. The connectors maintained by the Grouper team are the Quali Rice connector, the uPortal connector, and the Atlassian connector. Um, Quali Rice and Atlassian live in Grouper's subversion, and uPortal um, lives with the uPortal code. So the Quali Rice Grouper connector you would use that if you want to use Grouper and Quali Rice, or if you want to use Workflow in Grouper, you could set up um, eDoc Lite with Quali Rice, and uh, and it can use Grouper for the groups of that. So you can implement um, the uh, group service, the group update service, the identity service to get all your people and attributes from the subject API, and miscellaneous other features. For instance, at the end of a workflow, you could auto provision. Um, a user into a group or a permission or something. To configure the connector, um, there's a config file for that connector where you configure externalizing the group service. In Quali Rice's case, it's the Rice config and the um, beans files where you specify that the beans of certain IDs. Um, are the classes of the implementation. Um, at Penn we use Rice 1.2.1 and use this connector. Um, for newer versions, if they if Quali Rice has changed the um, service interface, you probably need to recompile the code against um, whatever version of Rice you're using. The uPortal architecture is similar to Quali Rice, and you configure the composite group services.xml file. Um, to specify the uh, grouper um, connector. The Atlassian connector is similar, although um, there's no cache on the other end of the group service in, uh, in Atlassian, Jira, or Confluence. So it calls, us that, calls that interface all the time. So that um, uh, interface will cache everything from grouper um, and then it can use XMPP for real-time updates. Um, you might be able to use the Atlassian LDAP integration instead if your LDAP has um, groups which have members and members which have groups. Uh, in our case, we don't have that in our LDAP for security reasons. The connector works with Jira and Confluence, and in the latest versions of Jira and Confluence, um, they yanked out the group and entity, entity interfaces, um, so you can't use it anymore. You can just use LDAP, or there might be something with crowd where you could do a similar thing. 
So the architecture for the Atlassian connector is um, there's the grouper Atlassian connector jar, which is the grouper client, and the grouper client dot properties. Full refreshes are kicked off either when the cache is cleared or when XMPP message comes in saying that something changed in that group. Um, and to configure the Atlassian connector, you go to the OS user.xml and you um, take out the defaults and configure the uh, grouper implementation of the interfaces. Click on the quiz link in the video description to reinforce your knowledge of this topic. And for more information, click on the uh, wiki. Thanks a lot.